Again, we're going through the winner's bracket. The next match that we have for you guys is the Beast, Daigo Umahara, going up against the genius, Kazunoko. And this is going to be a very interesting match, mm -hmm. just because of the recent match that they played at Topanga. Daigo okay. won that, Topanga, Topanga overall. Team. Yep. Topanga A-League. The I, problem I with it is, though, that Daigo went in there, had a whole bunch of matches he was all ready for, and then he f went up against Kazunoko, and if I'm not mistaken, Kazunoko 7-0'd him it, at Topanga it was instruction, and Daigo actually said that he thought that he would just be able to win. He would right, just, right. His, his sort of fundamentals and abilities would just put him through, mm -hmm. and he said, clearly I was wrong about that, so I'm going <laughs> to go back into the lab and see what I can do. Right, so he's now gone and studied the match. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out, see if he figured anything out. Because if not, if, if history repeats itself, Kazunoko might send Daigo to loser's bracket 3-0. Well, he might, and I, certainly he can do it. But I will tell you this, there's nobody who I have a higher faith in for making <laughs> that kind of a comeback than Daigo. Okay, That's prep right. time Daigo is ridiculous. Yeah, everybody that he's lost to at an EVO when they've played an exhibition afterwards, like right. a first to 10, he's won 10-0. Right. So, uh, yeah, Daigo, once he has the chance to study you, things are bad. Things can be tough. But, but I will say this, one of the hardest players to find any pattern, any rhythm, or any logic to their gameplay, Kazunoko. It's hard to get reads on him, that's for sure. Well, he puts himself at very strong spots on screen. Right, right. Spots that he knows his opponents have trouble dealing with. And obviously that differs based on the character matchup, but it also differs based on the player matchup. You know, different people are better at dealing with different spots on screen than others. And um, yeah, maybe he just found that spot right. against Daigo for, for moving in. Yun's neutral game uh, is not that easy, really. I mean, you have to really pick your spots well with him. And he does it. So uh, expecting Evil Ryu from Daigo. Looks like that's what he's going to do. And Yun, of course, from Kazunoko. All right, let's see how much Daigo has learned since their last matchup. Daigo Umahara on player one, Kazunoko on player two. Who will get into winner's finals against Sien? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that's already some yeah, Already some info. And yeah. that looks beautiful. Error to count. error, three times it. now. Oh, Kazunoko already had to jump strong to beat that stuff. I mean, it's, he's going to have to find the right spots, but he's already shown one of the potential counters for it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so two things now for Daigo to deal with those dive kicks. Oh, but that one just caught him as a cross-up. Kazunoko has him back in the corner. You see him back dash, so he can keep Ooh. that position. Baits out the focus attack. And Kazunoko backs off to a strong spot. Well, he's not always in his opponent's face. Oh, well, he was there. That, that's a range that you just don't look for Yun to hit from. Right. Like, you're looking for, okay, he's trying to put his dive kick on my foot. I understand that. Maybe he's trying to press stand strong or stand roundhouse or something, but to land in front of you, you think, oh, he missed. No, that was on purpose. Right. <laughs> Kazunoko taking the first round. Yeah, Daigo with the jump back. Uh, Kazunoko actually can make that work in his favor if he can convince Daigo to jump back like this. Yeah, very smart. Keep sending him to the corner. But you can see right now, Daigo very insistent with the air to airs. Oh, yeah, again. Oh, makes it out. Maybe he did get a read on the timing and he gets a stun. Oh, Daigo, okay, so he's gonna go for the juggle. Three bars for him. Just very patient. But again, he's very patient. He wants to take out Kazunoko now before Kazunoko gets that third bar. Well, it's coming in right now. Oh, that oh, one really? Catches the hop kick. That is the power of Kazunoko. One more mix up. And oh! he does it, he gets the command throw and a comeback from Kazunoko. See Kazunoko on the left. There's Daigo. Probably the most storied player in fighting games. Yes. Been right on the top for 20 years. Dominant pretty much every game that he's played. Oh, here we go. He gets the frame trap and a huge amount of damage. Mm. That time does not bait out the upkicks properly. And 
Kazunoko. I mean, the dive kick is such a scary tool for him, but the reason why he's so good is he's also so good at jumping without the dive kick. Oh, yeah. It's just like that. I really think that opens up Yun's game. Which one of these fighters will snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? No, you, you can, you can really, oh, well, that was a mistake, and that's unfortunate. That might cost him here. Oh. Oh, good block. Patience from Daigo. Did not stand up to get caught by that low forward. Trying to find that opportunity to land the red focus. You see, Kazunoko not always doing the shoulder. Really? Oh, and it was far enough, and he's going to get the red focus again into the crumple. Here comes the ultra. Is that it? Ultra's not going to kill, but oh, does but the follow-up. It does. And Kazunoko again with a comeback round. Daigo has looked strong at the start of so many of these rounds, but yeah. Kazunoko has just found the way in. The last time it was too much of a defense from Daigo. You know, I feel like Daigo is doing a better job dealing with the dive kicks than he has previously, but when it comes to these mix-ups, Kazunoko has just had the right option. And it's really interesting because Daigo has anti-aired with at least five different buttons yeah, on the right. ground and there, like seven, seven different buttons in the air, but it just hasn't mattered. Kazunoko says, you know what, I'm going to take this small chunk of life. I don't really care, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Okay, well, this is major, that's for sure. And ended in the corner. Oh, he gets the throw. Daigo stays in the front. Oh! And again, just with the oh, inability to read and fearlessness from Kazunoko. Right, Daigo had three bars right there. Hey, that could have been Dragon Punch, FADC Ultra. Right. That could have been a major risk. Well, in fact, it was a major risk from Kazunoko, but he was willing to do it. And Daigo. With his back to the wall now, down 0-2. He better make some important adjustments if he wants to move on and face Sien in winner's finals. Well, I like that he challenged after the dive kick there. He has been challenging the dive kick better itself, but I feel like he needs to do a better job of dealing with the post-dive kick situation or just young on the ground. Kazunoko all the oh, way to wow. the corner, and he has just oh, had all on. the right reads, and now a stun. Double dash to get him into the corner. Oh, he went for the command throw again. All right, some signs of life out of Daigo. Oh, he has not been able to deal with that double dive kick from Kazunoko. He's been crossed up by that and remained crouching, too, when he's gotten crossed up by that. And here it is, Kazunoko, match point, playing so dominantly. It's almost as if he has Daigo's number here. Well, I think he might. I mean, he just seems to have exactly the right read on what Daigo wants to do when, when it comes to the up-close mix-ups. Daigo now sitting on a full bar. This is big damage time. If he can get the combo, oh, yeah. Had to FADC it to keep himself safe. Mm. Kazunoko puts himself in that up-close situation from far. First time we've seen that. Next lunge. Oh, really? Okay, Daigo jumping back. Now can he can take control of this corner? Oh, no, he backs off. Just needs to find a way to get that hit, but the main weapon of Evo Ryu, low forward in the fireball FADC, he has not been able to land that at all. In no, I, I feel like it's unfortunate because he's clearly trying to outrange the dive kick here, trying to outrange EX, EX launch, but that means that Evo Ryu's not at a dangerous position for his opponent. Right. He's not a range of, well. Oh, he's gonna get the juggle off of that, that yes! That's gonna be yes. it. It is. Kazunoko, 3-0 over. Daigo Umehara. We, we've talked about Daigo getting some tenos against his opponent, but yeah. now if you take this match and Topanga, Kazunoko is 10 to 0 against Daigo in their last 10 games. And Daigo Umehara has been sent to loser's bracket.